Testing. Are we are we recording? Yeah, yeah recording. All right, we got you. We good. What do you call Audacity Premium? Come on. What is Audacity? What do you mean? What do you mean by Audacity Premium? What's a, what's in Premium? The paid version of Audacity. What do you call that? All right, I'm not playing with you today. Sony Acid Pro. Stop it! Come on, bro. Oh, I know what you're doing. Wait, this is Wait, a shot. But it's because that kid DM'd you and, yeah, and yelled like that. at us. That's the only reason he did that. Shout out to something? Sony Acid Pro people. Well, it's not I Sony Acid no Pro smoke. anymore. I just found out. Okay. What? What is it? Magic's bought Acid Pro. So it's Magic's Acid Pro. You lying. You're Sweet. lying. That's so not true. So Magic's has Music Maker and Acid Pro. You're lying. And it costs $80. How much is FL? How much is... How <laughs> you, much yo, is don't get mad. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why you get so mad? Because it's like... Tight. <laughs> I've paid for it one time. You pay for yours every month. Bro. I'm going to pay my rent. Exactly. Like I told y'all, pay y'all rent. It's a nice building. It got everything I need. I'm good. I don't want to own a house. I'm not looking to buy a house. Shout out to the Ableton homeowners one time. We got to go through yo, that. Yo, y'all expensive Pro though. Pro Tools servers shut down and Little your bullshit. life is in shambles. You realize studios in America can't make money. If Pro Tools shut down for a month, Mad Studios are not going to be here in a month. That's not true. Miss rent. We gonna, we you gonna, know how many studios need Pro Tools to survive? If a studio... if it, let me, So, okay, this is great. If Pro Tools disappears... Who they going to next? Not disappears. If their servers fail, they're going to Logic. I'm not saying disappears. I'm saying if you try to log in mm -hmm. and that login fails, uh huh. What are you doing for the day? I'm I'm gonna sit down. You gonna be tired? You ever open up? Sit look look look. I'm we gonna sit down for a little bit. You also I'm you, gonna just take it as a sign from God that yeah. he's saying take a day off. I'm like you. You right. pay you pay for um for what? You got the pay to own serum too, right? I think I do pay to own that. Yeah. You ever open up Serum and it say you need to have Splice open? Oh my God. I just don't That's open Serum. OD. I just say I'm not using Serum right now. That, can I say something about that? Yeah. That is annoying. Because I be having some heat. I be like, oh, I got a melody. And then it be like open Splice. I'm like, oh. And, and then I, you open Splice and it still don't work. You got to restart the yeah, whole Yeah, I got to restart the whole thing. I just thing. don't use Serum. It's, I, it's, like, anno right. it's annoying. But I ain't going to lie. I sit and wait for that thing to open though. Because I know <laughs> Serum got that heat. So I be like, hold on now. Oh, but that, yeah, that's that's no good. But let me um introduce. Hold on. I'm, hold on, y'all. If you're, if you're watching this podcast, which you should be. I hope you're watching instead of listening. Um, Courtney just had his hard drive swinging. Like oh yeah, it was it was a it was a <laughs> like a like a person hanging it from was a, a, <laughs> a, a, a a a freaking uh mountain, and it bothered me a lot. <laughs> oh, you ain't you 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 know what it is? So <laughs> You're yeah, a dangerous me, man. Me and Dev subscribe to the same school of thought when it comes to our <laughs> our gear. But you know what it is? You know you know why I'm a little bit more. I live my life a little bit more on the edge why? when it comes to my um hard drive my, my peripherals. Yeah. Why? Um, I think I told you this story back in Full Sail. We uh -huh. had um, and you know how film sets be. Yes. So our labs in Full Sail compared to Dev, who had to you know mix and uh, compose, engineer and master yeah. albums. Yes. Um, for his midterms and finals. Yeah. We had to uh, write, film, and shoot, produce, all that stuff. Short films. Um, That's hard. We would take, we had like 5K lights. Because for some reason, you can't teach 18 to 21-year-olds, oh, if you don't need the 5K, don't use the 5K. Yo, what are we trying to recreate? Just a lamp. What we need? We got a 5K. What a 5K? What a 5K. Ladies and gentlemen, a 5K light is usually is sometimes used to re-emulate the sun. I just want to throw that out there. The sun. The sun. The it's, sun. It's used to give you the impression of the sun is shining. Why bro. would somebody What's... make a hard drive that I could throw off the Empire State Building and still be able? To <laughs> now, right? You can't do that. Now, right? You can't. You can't. You, you can't. No, Nokia made a phone that was indestructible. It, right? Use the same thick ass plastic. That they used to cover them toys at Bobby's in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> that's a That's, so that's a New York joke. <laughs> and create a, a casing for a hard drive that I could. I don't need to. I don't want to put my my um T7, T7 in, a case. in a case. Well, the thing about when, okay, so I was they got say, the Brolic T7s now. Yeah, they got mm -hmm. the rugged ones. It is funny. It's like the 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 T7 went to the gym. It's weird, <laughs> but it's like they have the so the weird thing about switching over from hard drives to SSDs. I feel like the SSDs are a lot more durable because yes, when it comes to an HD drive, remember it's a spinning disc, right? So that spinning disc, bro, if that thing drops while it's like reading or writing, done. Game over. At least with an SSD, it's kind of like RAM. It's kind of yeah. like just like a uh, that's why it's so much faster if I'm not mistaken. So correct. Cycle, Let yeah. me introduce this podcast. Wait, so, I want one more thing about this SSDs. is a MKH uh, B, uh this is a Marquez yeah, Brown what, what Brown Lee podcast. podcast. Why so SSDs, right? Uh-huh. Well, mm -hmm. any hard drive. This is important for audio too. Yes. Yes. Why can't 
somebody creates some type of technology where if my hard drive is not being used, uh-huh. I don't need to eject it. Like if I'm not using my hard oh, drive and it's not doing anything, it's it just automatically in, ejects. Right. And I accidentally unplug it. Uh-huh. I gotta be I scared you. that I lost everything. So let me tell you what that's about. Cause I asked that same question years ago. I was like, yo, why can't I just can I why why is it like that? Long story short, I could be very wrong. Please in the comments, kill me if you got to. What I was told was your computer, when you have a, a peripheral in like connected, it's constantly so once in a blue, it's like looking for it. Like, yeah. is it there? Are you there? What you're trying to avoid is at the same moment, like an act of like a random, the chances of this are so slim. But if you plug it out at the moment where it's like checking for you, that's when your drive goes and that's it. So it's just that you can plug it out if you want because the chances of you hitting it at that right moment is very slim. That's what I've always heard. So that's why I'd be like, I, I, it would be my luck for lightning to strike on my drive. I'm going to introduce... It has struck. Oh it, my it has God. struck many oh, sure. times on for a sure. lot of us. For sure. I lost my entire computer in his house while we was watching a movie. Oh. It was all three of us. We were watching House of Gucci. I'll never forget. I'm never going to finish that movie. And I lost <laughs> my entire life for the last six months. That's right. Same. Shout out to Daisy Disc. Is that what it's called? Oh, Disc Drill. Disc, Disc Drill. drill. If you ever Facts. lose a session... Check this out this drill. This drill is good. I lost um, on my SD card. It was just tripping for some reason. Right. And um, I ended up just running it through it, and I got everything back. And you got back. everything back. So, yeah, shout out to this drill. Also, doesn't it scare you to know that your information never really deletes? Which is for yeah, it's kind of weird, right? No, disc drill. I ain't gonna lie. This is free promo. I'm not. We're not getting paid, but they deserve it. Cause God, they do. they've saved me many times. They saved you one time. I mean, they when you lost an me. entire session they, video, they saved me. Um, they saved me like twice. Yeah, I lost my my entire music hard drive. Right, and then we lost the um the the footage for Kev. Wow. And then you recovered what it. Hurt, what hurt me about covered red flag. It's a great topic, actually. What hurt me about disc drill, Loki, was. Even though I found my FL Studio files, uh-huh. all of them were corrupted, so I couldn't even open them. Oh, you couldn't ones. open them. Ooh. Let me ask you a question, because we kind of cracked something open. Let me just introduce the podcast really fast and then get to your teaser. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Devon Terrell. Welcome to the My Audio Nerds podcast, the podcast for audio nerds like yourself. My name is Devon Terrell. I am a podcast. I'm a podcast? Okay. A I'm a Pro Tools user. All right, I lost myself. To the wow. left of me. Yeah, that was very that was very bland for you. <laughs> it, it was pretty bland. You know why? Because I it's like I, I shot a three and that joint yeah. hit way off the backboard. A little I messed bit, up. Yeah, a little bit far. We got the Fruity Loop Lawyer. You know? <laughs> Where did you pull that from? Loop Lawyer. Fruity Loop Lawyer. I'm on a stand for them every day. I'm on a stand for them every day. I'm defending them. And guess what? I don't lose no cases. FL Studio is the, I'm is, Proctor. The, is the Innocence Project, that's Yo, for sure. If this <laughs> wasn't such a niche topic, I would do Dawes to Power Characters. And oh, oh my God, God, it would be so good, but we can't do that. Because a lot of y'all probably don't know what power is. Uh, oh, that's so good. Somebody going to be in the comments mad as hell. Mad as hell, like y'all should have gave me that one. Ableton is Tommy. Imagine. Ableton <laughs> is Tommy. No, it's not. Yes, it, yes, it is. is. Thank you. Thank Everybody you. loves Thank Tommy. You. We're not doing it. Stop, Thank stop, stop. Pro Tools is not Ghost. Stop. Thank you. Yes, we are. Thank you. Pro Tools Let's is go. Let's go. Let's everybody hates Ghost. At the end, everybody tried to kill Ghost, right? Facts. Anyway. Way, stop right there with not doing it. <laughs> Cause I, ooh, I had to introduce yourself, young man. Uh, There's what's going on, y'all? Tasha. You already know who it is. It's the boy, CT Courtney Taylor. You know, it's the man with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Why you sounding like you from freaking Long Island? It's the man with the plan. You know, uh huh. Yeah, boy, Ableton. I've been, I, I, I've been hanging out with my boys, Ant and Silv. Sh- shout out, um, shout out, Long Island Sound. Uh, wow, you shout just wow, Island, I forgot I, about Island them. Okay. You know, I'll plug, give you that. Shameless, shameless plug for them. Well, get what's up, y'all? Off. No, let me Wait. get this off. Oh, God. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't you want to get this power thing off. Elisa Marie. <laughs> Come on. All right. I'm moving on. So, what we kind of landed on something that I, I kind of just wanted to stay on. Yeah. As far, and I always yell at y'all about session, file session management. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you go about your hard drive, oh, don't your, kill me. Don't your kill sounds, because I, I, I've, I've told you plenty of things. I just want to see what you're doing right now. And I have no shame. Where your plug in stored. Yes. You know, like, what is your session I have, management? I want to start this off with, I have zero shame, okay? <laughs> so You're an I animal. I dare you to come in the comments and speak to me, because I will reply this but this time. I will reply. Okay. You ready? I'm ready to, I want to hear how you my set your drives up. Your drives. Stay on my laptop. That's nasty. Why? Because I paid Apple $400 more for a two terabyte mm. system. You know what else stays on my laptop? What? My samples. I keep them on my laptop. Yep. Nasty, Why? More nasty work. Yeah. So, 
Okay. Guess what? I back. I back. I don't back my samples up. I ain't gonna lie. Were, but <laughs> I haven't I'm lost a, my sample samples. Samples since I lost in. Oh, since I lost. I haven't lost my samples since I started in 2014. I literally <laughs> have every Trapaholics mixtape uh, <laughs> drum kit. <laughs> That I started. That was with. a good drum kit right. back in the day. In fact, my first drum kit was a Lord Finesse drum kit from Reddit. What? Okay, I, I, I still have that today. Okay, day. now can I tell you something? What mm-hmm. my plugins? You know where they stay? Where on my laptop? But my they fucking should. libraries, right? Are on on your SSD. My That's healthy. Now you're doing the right thing. My I back up my sessions, but can I tell you something? What FL Studio. Added something new to the update. I'm uh, kind of indifferent on it, but what? if I had it years ago. It would save me from so many times like that. I'm losing session. sessions, uh huh. Session folders. So now all of my audio files and everything are now in session folders. And although I hate, I hate it, but I, I it's, it makes sense. It's needed. And shout out to oh, them. Super Wait needed. a minute. It's super needed. So FL Studio didn't have session folders. No. So what FL did was. If um no, it didn't have session folders. So basically, all your sound. They copy over the the. So if I had downloaded something from YouTube to MP3, what? And if I downloaded a two track, right? So I, I go to Commotion's YouTube, right? You remember Commotion? A Commotion track. He had all the mustard type beats. Back okay. In the day. I, I go to I go to Commotion's YouTuber, right? Okay. I'm like, yo, I like this beat. So I skip his um I skip his beat stars and I go straight to YouTube to MP3. Okay. Bring that you uh that two track in. Uh huh. Load it in the FL Studio. Uh huh. Would have helped me Devon template. Mm-hmm. Don't put me a part of this crime you're committing. <laughs> I don't want no part of this crime. And... Right, peep game. I record... Facts. It's a Rico. <laughs> it's a Rico. <laughs> I record it. That was good. I record, right? Uh-huh. I save it. It's just saving the FLP. Like a lot of the DAWs you do. Uh, DAWs do. Shout out to the MX7 people. It's Mixed Craft 7. Um, it, okay. But, All right. But All if right. I delete the beat from my downloads folder it's, or I moved it to my music folder. It won't I find to, it. Yeah, I got to refund it. Okay, so but that's. But now it's bypassed. But it is for the worse and the better. It's for the better because now everything is cleaner and I could just send sessions out. But it does copy everything. So now I have double everything. That, but, so can I say something to you? You need that, my brother. I know. In I, order I for y'all to even be remotely competitive in a f- all working DAW, you need session folders. Because when it comes to even, Rob and I had went with this the other day, just as far as, I think, it was, was it you, Rob? Oh, it was Jay. No, it was me and Jay. Jay, I had to really show Jay the other day how to send me a session. So what she did with, with uh, Pro Tools, we, which we always laugh at people that do this, and shout out to my girl. She, we, you know, she's learning and stuff like that. She sent me just a session file. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking PTX? about? Mm-hmm. Just a PTX file. And I was like, yo, no, 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 you can't do that. I was like, you see the thing that says audio files? I need you to send me the entire folder. Okay. What I like and why that's so important is because if you ever lose those sounds and stuff like that, which is very easy, even if you just rename something, it's mm-hmm. just so, da- it's like a ticking time bomb waiting to happen yeah, yeah. when it comes to coming back to a session. So just to explain to people what Pro Tools does is basically everything that's recorded in the Pro Tools, sounds, anything that gets printed, it then gets put into an audio files folder that's directly in the session folder of whatever the session mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. So now you don't run into the issue of, of you know, if you need to send a session, that person will have everything in that session as opposed to, well, this is there in the downloads folder and this link is there and then yeah, a path is missing. This is a missing this it's is missing. just a missing. I had somebody one time I was training for here one time. You know, you you, you remember, y'all remember? Oh my God. Oh, boy. he almost snitched. OD. Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> what I told her, so I was telling her how to do like file session management. And I was like, yo, do me a favor. I seen her hit add on Pro Tools. So there's an add button when you're importing audio or there's a copy button. Mm-hmm. She hit add. I said, do me a favor, never hit never add. That. Because it, when you do add, it's doing what FL Studio does and it say, okay, I'll just look at that path right there and always know it's over there. I explained to her, I said, don't do that because now you run up to the risk of if that beat gets deleted tomorrow, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? Like we won't have yeah, it. Totally so fine. she said the reason why she did it was, was for storage. And I was like, that's such an old school way to think because back in the day, hard drive space was a big deal. That's not a big deal anymore. No, like, it's anymore. okay. So I always say hit copy in your doors. I'm proud of y'all for graduating okay, and getting to high school. With all due respect, though, mm-hmm. the same way I said I still have them Trapaholics mixtape uh, sample packs. Uh-huh. You know what else I got? What? I got that Nicki Minaj song that I downloaded legally. That I downloaded from, legally? In 2014, still in my downloads folder in, in, Pro, uh, in, in Finder. Can I say something to you? Your downloads folder probably looks gr- disgusting, oh, like disgusting. an animal. If I had the HDMI, I would just run through them. Oh, my God. Just, just a nasty little downloads yeah, folder. Guess what? You playing a dangerous game. 
My download folder at thought. Yes, it's a thought. It's with everybody. It's nasty. It's, it's with everybody. You, see, so so okay. So I will say this. You you, you have something you is want to say? Um, no, nah, I was gonna say that. Um, my really, download folder. Nah, gets my cleaned. download my download folder is cl- is clean. It's clean. Uh, what you gonna call it? Yes. Um, wash your ass. What you gonna call it? <laughs> wash your ass is crazy. Uh, <laughs> I think y'all I was cool say, for that. With all due respect. Yes, yeah. I think I'm really dope. I guarantee you, eighty percent of the people watching this episode, please comment. I will give all of y'all a Rosetta EQ. I'm not. I'm lying. I'm you, y'all are all not getting a Rosetta EQ. Shout out to Rosetta EQ. Back um, coming soon. 80, we, no, our downloads folder is supposed to be our right next to the recycling bin. My recycling bin gets cleaned more than my. So the downloads folder is like the slut. It's like the. Yes. It's like the like the slut part of your I can't computer. Do that. Yes. I can't do that. I'll look at that. In I'll cry. It bothers me. I'll cry. Yeah, it bothers me. Do, I need. I need like. I like chaos, but at some point, I, I need, need to, to be clean organized. It, up. it point, needs to be organized. To the point where, I, if I need organization, you know where I send it to the videos folder because I never use that shit. That's, That's nasty. <laughs> That's, that's true. Desktop, my that's desktop the cheat. My de- oh, right that's now, no, no, no. Hold on. I just finished like an album. My desktop ain't ain't healthy. My PC well, desktop clean. My my Mac one right now nasty work. You, you was asking that question, Rob. Come on, let, let, let's show him. Let's show him. Let's show him. I, yo, the, when I see people with every all boxes everywhere, that is anxiety. <laughs> I get anxiety. Exactly. That's wild. That's, that's nasty. Wild. So you're either a desktop person or, or you're a downloads a person. Downloads person. I'm neither. Here's, if you're both, you need to real. Here's my thing about your downloads folder. You don't realize how much you know what messes you up when you say, "Dang, my computer's losing space," and then you right click on the downloads folder and say and try to see like how what how much space is taking, bro. Your downloads folder you know be slapping, You know what I bro. just do? What sort by size and I delete all them. That's zip a files. fact. He's all them zip files. Wow, nasty um, work. <laughs> Audio nerds, nasty work. <laughs> I will say though, leaving has a point though. Um, I do, I do actually save my samples and my sessions as well to the um to the desktop. Like that's usually that's normally um where I have to uh, keep mine keep my sessions and download files saved because Ableton has like similar to FL, it has mm-hmm. a problem with like relinking stuff and even within while the session's going. So y'all don't have folders? No, we do. No, oh, they got no, folders. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. They got they stuff Studio together. Studio One have folders. Yes, Studio One has folders. Logic. Logic has the best one. Logic be stealing. Logic, like, compre- no. Logic, Logic creates like a zip, like a zip, but it, it's not really, it yeah. doesn't look like a zip, but it's a zip. Mm. Can I tell you why Logic be stealing? Why? Tell me why we just got Clip Gain and y'all just want to update out of nowhere with Clip Gain. They been had Clip Gain. Oh, Logic's right? always, yeah, had, always had it. Had you tripping. Then y'all must have added some new shit. Because I did Logic, saw a new update with something that seems like Clip Gain. Logic was the first, was one of the early ones with region um, automation. Like yeah. crazy. Logic, nah. Y'all spatial? Apple is a music company. Yo, bro. I went to I was with Jonathan Morris and TDL today at his studio. Bro, he was using Logic and showing me the spatial. I was like, oh my God, it's so good. Yes. Right there. He was like, oh, I'm gonna do this. He was literally going to each track and just changing it. Boom. Right there, bro. Easy. And then it just Shout converted to, it. Yo. You got your one you gotta go? Sorry. Tech, yeah, yeah. The tech YouTubers that love audio. We got to bring them over to our side, bro. Yeah, man. We, we talked about like, it. I, I'm sure we have, but yeah, In this last Jonathan, episode. Jonathan, shout out Jonathan. Was, when he DM'd the HMD page. Yeah, I was. I became a fan. Yeah, I was like, oh my Yeah, God. me too. I was super hyped. Shout out to Jonathan, yeah. man. He's really dope. And we have some content coming. I have some stuff that he gave me. He gave me some video. He So Jonathan OD'd. Like he, it was my first time listening to Dobly Atmos. Did I say it right? I keep saying Dolby. Dolby, at- Dolby. Dolby Atmos. I say it wrong every Dolby? time. Dolby? Shout out to Dolby. They commented and they agree that they Dolby are Batman. Dolby has a really They agree with us. They, they, was like, they was like, yes. Like, Dun-dun-dun. they agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are Batman. Um, he, it, he literally recorded, you know, he was like, oh, do you want to, is it cool? I was like, yes, please record it. And I thought he was going to put out, pull out like a, you know, a little little camera. My man brought out the Ari <laughs> and filmed me. And I was like, oh my God, this camera. Bro, if I show you the footage, you know the footage I put in my story? Mm-hmm. That was from the Ari. I was like, bro, this footage oh is insane, bro. I was so mad Shout I, I, I couldn't go on that LA trip with you, bro. Yeah, that was a really nice LA trip. I really enjoyed that LA trip. But give us our one gotta go, my brother. One gotta go for today. All right, y'all ready? Mm-hmm. We're gonna do interfaces. Okay. But we're gonna do interface series. So there's three, okay. honestly, that it comes down to consumer... Not crazy expensive. We're not going all the way to like the thousand dollar interfaces. Right. But let's do these three series. Uh, all, all legendary. We got the Scarlet slash Claret series. By okay. Focus right. One gotta go. Yeah. One gotta okay. Go. Actually, pick one. Fuck it. Pick I'm, one. I'm, 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 hold on. I'm with you. Pick go ahead. One. Finish. One gotta stay. Um, the Apollo series from UAD. Uh, and the duet series from Apogee. Oh, you did me dirty in that one. <laughs> you did me so dirty. You did me dirty. Who, so, I'm going, who, who going yeah, first? Go first? Let me tell you something. 
I keep saying it on this podcast. The Apogee cons- prosumer of stuff that I've been getting, the interfaces, I'm sorry, bro. They are holding up. Like, I feel like they just like, yo, f- let's just put our best converters in this. Like, don't, let's forget it. Let's not even do it. Bro, it sounds really good, bro. Like, I, as far as when it comes to budget stuff, I even brought you up on the last episode, Rob. Like, shout out to you being here right now. I brought it up to him as far as what mm-hmm. I was pushing him towards. I was pushing yeah, him towards that Apogee Duet 3, bro. Yeah. For sure. And that boom. Like, we just did a tutorial on that too, bro. I'm, I'm, with, I'm with the Apogee, Apogee. stuff. He's, with, he's Team Apogee. I'm Team Apogee. Well, y'all both Team Apogee? Um, I, I got to think about mine a little bit more. So. I'm going with the Apollo series. That it can't go? No, it's staying. Yeah, oh, it stays for you. Yeah. Right, right, right. Let's pick one. Let's pick one. It's yeah, I picked direction. Apogee. I'm picking Apollo. You're picking Apollo. Apollo comes with the UAD suite. That's first of all. That's what sells you is the plugins. It comes with plugins. And you're right for that. And it's incredible. Not only that, I feel like it has more of a broader range from mm-hmm. super expensive to super consumer, especially now that they took the Arrow and brought it in hmm. to the Apollo thing with now the Apollo Solo. Uh-huh. Even though UAD has come out with more, che- uh, not cheaper, but more affordable interfaces, interfaces. in the $100, $200 range, right. I think this covers all bases. Even though Focusrite has cheaper interfaces, right. I don't think when it, as you go up and up, it doesn't last as long as okay. UAD. UAD mm-hmm. basically has a lot. You know what it is? What? You ever go on Amazon? or No, no, no. This is just going on, let's say Sweetwater. Okay. And you get to use your, uh, choose your price range. Yeah. UAD covers whatever price range. It does you cover everything. You're right. It, it, from a three thousand dollar interface to a f- two hundred dollar interface, yeah, UAD is going to yeah. have. I think the cheapest Apollo is quality. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's gonna. So I will say this: UAD does have quality in every single range they do. because you'll see UAD in a high end, stu- like a high end studio. I'll be honest; I've seen it, and then you'll see UAD in someone's bedroom. Yeah. I will say, as far as a range. You're not wrong. That's why I can't even like argue with you on it. Plugins, and it, it right, can't, you and can't let it go. Plugins, That's sure. where you win with mm-hmm. that. Because one thing I'll say is this: when it comes to focus right stuff, which we was talking about before the episode, focus right holds up in a sense of like consumer products. I just feel like when it comes to just aff- affordable consumer products, they just got it. And I, the reason why I say is this: we were able to buy a focus right a, a eight channel preamp. For only nine hundred dollars, which is insane, we got eight preamps, eight channels of pre's for eight hundred for under nine hundred dollars. Mm. So for me, it's like a hundred a pre, bro. That's insane. That's insane. Like that was really good, and it wasn't the, the preamps weren't bad. Um, we you know we had to fight with it a bit here Ooh, and there. Is that what it is? What a hundred a pre at Focus Right. Think about it. The hundred dollar interface got one. It's the the Focus Right. That is an interesting way to look at that. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're not even tripping for that. Like, but but the Claret, we like the Claret. Yeah. I like the Claret. Like the we, Claret, they got it at Pirate Studios. Shout out Pirate Studios. And I, it yeah. always makes me mad because you know, I'll be like, because it worked. Because I'll be like, yo, this sounds all right. Like, what and the they, hell? What do they pair it with? They pair it with like a cheaper mic. It's not with an SE SE Electronics. SE Electronics. And it's, bro, it's a good yeah. setup. It's a good setup. I ain't gonna lie. We gotta look into it because that might be a one of the best budget, budget setups that nobody talks about. That's so true. Wow. Pirate, so at Pirate Bay, I don't know, Pirate Studio? Pirate Studio, Studio. Shout out Pirate oh Bay, Oh my though. God, I just shouted I out Pirate Bay, my fault, like, my fault OG. Whoa. He said, whoa, Dev. Whoa. Come on, Dev. Pirate how, how are the owners of Pirate Bay doing? They're probably at Guantanamo. Bay. They, oh my. <laughs> they, oh, they, damn, that wow. was good. That was good. Even you <laughs> said, damn, I'm good. <laughs> I, hope, I hope no one's in jail. Prayers to all involved. You hope no um, one's in jail? No. Until Rosetta ends up on Pirate Bay. Nah, you, my plugin, bro, don't play with my That's plugin. That's how you know bro. you made it. Yo, I, so yeah, we have a plugin coming out, bro. Don't play with my plugin, bro. Like, don't play with our plugin. Um, the, He lost me because that shit hurt. The <laughs> thought of somebody. Uh, don't Pirate do that. Studio. Pirate, Pirate Studios. Pirate they, Studio. My man, right here. Courtney, right here, brother. Pirate Studios is a very inexpensive way to get studio time for a dirt cheap. What is it? Twenty bucks an hour? We, bro, we not spend. even. At some like. <laughs> not they even. A, they'll rap, bro. We had a twelve-hour session. Right. We had a twelve-hour session for sixty bucks. Yeah, and we always leave within the third hour. We be like, all right, yeah, we good. After like six hours, we're like, all right, we tired. It's back. twelve yeah. hours. I'm like, like, they they have, like, what am I doing? They have rehearsal here? space. They have DJ rooms. They have podcast studios. Yes. Now. And they always put like very so what they do is they put very minimal equipment into the rooms. So And it's bring your own. It's bring so your own no laptop. No engineer. They have a keyboard. And what they always have is a focus right claret. Is it a solo? It's like focus right 
Claret. No, it's just a Claret. It's two. It's two pre's. It's two pre's. Oh, sorry. You're right. right. It's a Claret two plus or something like that. And then it's an SC Electronics two two twenty two twenty two hundred two hundred or something like that. And that setup, I'm not gonna lie. I've used stuff from my album that we've cut. Like just like oh, we cut stuff and just bring it into my back home. Songs we have. We cut a lot in LA. Shout out to Claret in LA. Yeah, because in LA. It'd be so hard to find a, a studio. Even yeah, there's studios everywhere. They're yeah. always booked. But that that pirate bay, oh that pirate studio. <laughs> Yo, we gotta stop shouting. Pirate, pirate studios. Bay. We're pirate, not pirate. shouting out pirate bay. <laughs> we're not doing that. Fact. Right, we do quick, not question. endorse quick, illegal quick. companies. Hey, we're going to pirate bay real quick. Let's let's talk. Right? Okay. <laughs> when y'all got shut, how old were you when computers were invented? Oh my god. <laughs> Come, on. I wasn't but born. When we got when we got um <laughs> when y'all did y'all first. We had Torrance at you first, like, you know, okay. we're going to talk about okay. our crimes. Okay. You were not scared that um, the next day the FBI would just bust in your car? Hell crib. yeah. <laughs> I was a child and I was so scared. I had backup plans. Like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yo, if they come, I'm going to tell them, yo, it wasn't me. That's a fact. Oh, I had this. It was on this computer. I didn't even know what I was Look doing. Look at his excuse. I'll, um, no, I actually have a story about that. Um, I, I wasn't. Because you know what my first torrented, quote unquote, software was? What? It was Premiere Pro. Shout out to Adobe. Nah, we was- I love y'all. Can I say, we back in the day- <laughs> You know why? Adobe- You know why? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why they get their money back yeah, in Yeah, they get their money back in blood. a month. Because <laughs> man's- Bro, back when I was mad young, when I was a kid, it was mad, like, of course, it was the culture to torrent. Yeah. And I used to torrent a bunch of anime episodes, but then, <laughs> but then, <laughs> but then, that's, that's, that was my, jail for, that was my, that, that, that was my introduction, That of is what Courtney was going to jail for. That's my introduction. But I will say, once I got older and I was like, okay, I, I really want to start into this editing stuff, and I seen it was like, all right, how do I torrent Premiere Pro? They was like, oh, you don't torrent that, bro. We got that Premiere Pro crack. I was like, what's that? The crack. They was the like, first you just take one file, copy and paste that into your installer. You could. That's right. Said, that's that's not how it worked. That's cap. Y'all like I it opened the yeah. bro, my dad's laptop. I said, oh, I'm, I'm living good. life. <laughs> it's yo. Because back in the day, all it's we needed fire. was th- that one serial number could be used over, over and, and over. over again. So once your serial number started floating on the internet, it was over. It was done. You it ever, was so people done. would open their DAWs, for instance, and you would see somebody else's name there at the top. You're like, I don't know who. who <laughs> <Ricky> <laughs> Johnny Bob- Appleseed. Yeah, Johnny Appleseed is, but, <laughs> but thank you. Good looking, yo. bro. So he took the L so all of us could eat. Shout out to Adobe. You know who else lost in that game? Who? The Refix Nexus 2. I think that must have oh, been that the was most cracked. Crack, like, the most passed around. That was the first plugin I ever owned. Oh, my God. We should talk about that in another episode. I ain't gonna lie. Crack, 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 crack plugin software. culture? Crack software. Oh, my yeah, God. Right. No, 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 no. Because we, we're about to rap. We Actually, else. we're gonna rap on this. Mm-hmm. But you can finish off. We're going to... We nah, got to bring we, that we, around. We good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Well... One last thing I do want to end on, please remember that topic because that is an yeah. amazing topic. <laughs> yeah. Crack plugging culture Crack is crazy. So, um, one thing I did want to mention because I feel like this episode please mostly buy your plugins first. That's a fact. Yeah. Oh, because I feel like this episode mostly was about um how we have our our setups and stuff like that as far as the hard drives and stuff like that. So I just want to wrap with saying this. I think the most efficient way to organize yourself and to have your session set up and all of that stuff is mm. you run everything off of your SSD. So. When I say that, your plugins, as far as the actual programs and stuff, that's on your actual uh, system drive. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to your sounds, your libraries, your samples, where you're running your session, I'm telling y'all, run it off of your SSD because you're going to run into an issue where if you lose something, at least you have it on an actual peripheral and not on the actual drive because that's how a lot of people lose their stuff. So I've said it to you a bunch of times. I have a backup to a backup to a backup. If it doesn't exist in two places, it doesn't, doesn't exist. So, that's the rule of thumb. It's, which actually, so I have a backup to my backup. I actually have a tidbit that's actually that goes along to your thought. What? Um, again, me saving my samples and like regular stuff like my sessions that I normally work off day in, day out on my, uh, da- on my computer. SSD? Oh, on your computer? On my, on my actual computer. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, I got to move it back over to the SSD. I could copy and paste the session folder once I'm done. But, true, Ableton, and I know a few other doors, I think Logic has it. I think, I know Pro Tools has it. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if FL has it, but um, they have a nifty feature called uh-huh. Collect and Save. So, if I'm working on one project somewhere, I can literally just open the project up again, save it as on my SSD, and then I go to my file manager. It tells me, yo, 50 files or, like, these things are missing because it's they're routed externally. Right. Okay, bet. You're on the SSD now? Yeah. Collect and save all those files and make a copy of them and just leave them right there on the SSD. Now I can just go back to I my believe, desktop, delete that shit. I don't know if FL has that. As oh, that's a moment. wild one. That's a weird one, actually. I never thought that did... 
That's weird. I know for a fact Logic has it because I've seen it in Logic. Logic has it. Collect and save. Do y'all trust clouds? To no. back up your stuff? No. Because uh, I the first thing mm. I, I wanted to say, yo, I could just use Dropbox, but I just thought of it. Mm. Imagine your Dropbox decline. It's going back to that Pro Tools conversation. They save it for imagine, a little bit for you. Imagine logging in and, and it's gone. Shit That'd empty. be so D. I would sue. I ain't gonna lie. You lost two Dropbox. terabytes of data. <laughs> you lost two terabytes. No, you lost your life. You lost your musical life. No, I didn't lose my life. They lost their life. What, whoever's on the phone. Look at this threat. <laughs> so, so this is a family podcast. <laughs> you know how many sessions I just lost? No, I, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm very lenient with customer service. Right. Oh my gosh, that lady. Me would too. Have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She I'm not gonna lie. Me too. When it comes, when it comes to session, this is what I always suggest for people when it comes to session file management, your files. That's why I always say I put everything on the SSD because even with me putting everything on the SSD, I literally. Then once every like two months, I'll back it up to the HD. You know yeah. what I mean? I'll be like, okay, yeah. everything that I worked on this For month sure. is gonna get backed up, and that's gonna go to HD, and that HD gets put away. That away. HD never oh leaves the location it that shout it's out, in. Shout out to my passport. That's what it's called. Yes. Yeah. They got eight terabyte. Mm -hmm. HDs for $50. That's <laughs> right. Western Digital? I got a four terabyte in my crib what, that WD, cost right? $30. Yeah. NWD. Seagate. But, yeah. Which one you said? My WD. Passport? You said My Passport. Is it Western, Western Digital? Digital? That's Western or Seagate. Digital, right? Yeah, that's West, 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 Western, that's Western Digital. Digital. Shout out Western. Yeah, bro. Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness, bro. For sure. Okay. Yo, go on eBay. Get you a refurbished HD don't do for that. $50. Don't do that. Eight terabytes for $50. Don't do that. Don't do ever it. buy a refurbished drive. Don't, don't ever do, do that. Do that it. is the worst thing you do can it. ever do. Do it. Do it. And don't. And let me tell you something. The one. Th if there's one thing, I'm going to end it on this. I tell you how he's rich every week. I don't believe you. If there's... Uh, shut your mouth. If there's one piece of equipment <laughs> in your studio that you are not to buy the off-brand or skimp on... It's Behringer. Is your hard drive. <laughs> Thank you for... Destroying that entire amazing yeah. moment. LJ, audio nerds, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you also rate us on Apple Music and Apple Podcasts. It helps us so much. Thank you guys for listening to my audio nerds podcast. LJ, I hate you. Uh, you two, I hate you too, Courtney. We're out of here. Kyle, yeah. take us out. Oh my God, that's a classic. <laughs>